and looks like we got Jonathan Top Player Suarez. He's a top player, and his name is Suarez, and he plays Yoshi. Jonathan, I'm looking at him. His name, Jonathan Top Player Suarez. Top Player is his middle name. It's actually two. It's actually two words. It's very strange. It's like half and half. I saw his birth certificate, man. It said Jonathan Top Player Suarez. It had a little Yoshi on it. From birth, man, they knew that uh, that he'd be he'd be he'd be the best at uh at Yoshi, man. And uh, speaking of Yoshi, return to Yoshi's Island. Can we talk about that trailer? I mean, I mean, I mean, screw the event, man. Like, I mean, I'm I'm hella gonna be there. I'm hella gonna be there. Where's the movie at? Where's the movie? I want the movie. Return to Yoshi's Island. But real talk, if you're around the New York tri-state Long Island area, no matter what, check that out too. But also, man, check out the meta gaming. We got tournaments on Thursdays, tournaments on Mondays. I think it might be changing to a. Uh, yeah, it might be changing to Saturdays, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. I didn't know if I was allowed to spill the beans just yet, so I wanted to make sure. The beans are on the ground, and they say Saturday on them. It's, like, engraved on the beans. It's really weird, man. Don't eat those beans. It's not a good idea. Eat the beans at, like, I don't know. Like, actually, don't eat the beans at Taco Bell. Those beans are gross. What, what we're talking? Yeah, okay, so you know what I'm saying, though. You know what I'm saying? It says Saturday on those beans. Um, so, yeah, keep keep a lookout for that. You know, Saturday tournaments at meta, you know. Long Island doesn't really have, like, a, you know, an official, like, really big Saturday tournament. So, honestly, I, you know, I'm just saying, man. Meta Saturday is kind of nice. Just saying. I know I'll definitely be there. That's for sure. But, anyway, um, we're at meta of the gaming right now. And it is Monday. It is not Saturday. It is not Thursday. It is Monday. And we got this really coming back. Rad Set playing very well that last set. Let's see how he does against uh, PGR level talent, man. Uh, John Suarez. Best Yoshi in the world. Everyone already knows who this man is, you know. Top 50 player. One of, like, the nicest people. It's very... It's like, he's just actually, like, a really wholesome dude. Like, fun fact, if you've never met Suarez, like, do it. Because he's really nice. But don't, 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 don't meet him in the game. He's, he's a savage in the game. He just kills you like that. And that happens. And, uh, you know... This is, uh, this is probably a matchup where when really gets into this event, it's probably really hard for him to find answers out of it. Um, even like offstage game can be can be hard. It seems to, and, and I totally feel you know having trouble offstage against Yoshi. That's a real struggle, man. But it seems like um, the way that uh, Ridley's recovery works, he might have some trouble on that front too. But looks like he's actually doing a very good job playing catch up. That was good. He did a down throw into up air. I like the way Radstead's moving. I said this before, but his movement is really crisp. It seems like he's not really wasting any movement. He's moving uh, pretty pretty smart overall. Um, it's it's pretty nice, man. Over these forward tilts, just kind of spacing around. You know, Suarez kind of slapped him up that first stock, but you know, that's that's like I said, that's kind of just the nature of a matchup like this in some cases, maybe. You know, Yoshi, amazing at combos. Ridley's a very big boy, he doesn't have much to get out of them. But uh, Ratstad, I do like the way he's playing this next stock. Suarez, oh, so that was really good coverage, right? So if he didn't jump, he uh, what the okay, he meant okay, dead okay, so I don't know what that was. My man wanted to take a seat. He went a little too far. It happens, man. It's Monday. Yeah? Who, li who likes Mondays, man? That's what I'm saying. It's like beginning of the work week. Oh, but if you're at Monday Meta, though, that's kind of hype. But you know what I'm saying. As far as though, just using that down B off stage. Obviously, he didn't mean to kill himself there. But it seems like, obviously, he's not going to let up on the momentum. But all these up airs, man. Not letting Radstad really push any buttons. Oh, and that air dodge. I think he meant to air dodge up. He probably just did a sideways angle and, and uh, it buffered weird. Honestly, like, the buffer in this game, like, I love Smash Ultimate, but some of the things about the controls of this game are just really, really not great. Like, the way the buffer works, it's just too damn long. Stuff like that, man. Honestly, um, Nintendo, if you're watching this, or someone from it, if, if your papa works at Nintendo, if your uncle works at Nintendo, tell him to fix the buffer. It's 11 frames is too much for a game this fast. Yeah, if you're a rep from Nintendo. If, if your uncle works at Nintendo, man. Because, uh, you know, Ultimate's such a fast game, and it's kind of a strange decision to make the buffer, like, time larger from Smash 4, which Smash 4 is a slower game, right? Ultimate's really fast. Kind of just a strange decision in general, but not something you can't play around, but, you know, just, just a little pet peeve. Not gonna lie, I've definitely lost my fair share of tournament sets due to buffer air dodge offstage. I probably can't make that back, man. Kyle's recovery is hot poo -poo. And something else that's hot poo poo is I, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. Lil Mac is kind of hot poo poo, but I know Radstad used to main this character. I know he knows a lot about it. Also, I know that Radstad himself. I see him on Twitter. He's like, you know, this character he's not great, but like he's not terrible. And you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I don't personally think Little Mac is the worst character in the game. 
So let's see what Ratsack can do here with his soul main man, Little Mac the Boxer. Let's see what he can do here. This is going to be really, really hard. This matchup honestly seems very, very difficult, but hey, man. Uh, I respect I respect him, man. Going for that character that he knows so much about. Seems like Suarez, he don't want to know nothing. Suarez like, I don't know nothing about this character. I'm just going to throw him off the stage and then back here. And, you know, that's kind of the weakness of Little Mac in this game. I feel like a lot of the strengths he had in Smash 4, where a lot of his stuff is safe on shield and his movement is really good, it's all advantages that most of the cast have now. So it doesn't make him that special. But if you can use his tools right, you know, he can still, he can still just kind of kill you for no reason. He's got a lot of really, really good tools if you're precise with them. And if you use them at the right time, you know, it could just come in really clutch. Um, that's why I don't think this character is, like, number one worthy. Because, you know, he's got a little bit of clutch factor. And KO Punch is one of those, man. Okay, going for the f tilt. I see what he's doing here. Oh, oh okay. That was, that was just a strange interaction all around. Just pretend it didn't happen. But we got the forward smash coming out. I'm honestly kind of impressed with the way Radstad's... Okay, that was Yoshi's jump armor. Fun fact, when Yoshi first initially does his double jump, he has this weird kind of armor. I honestly... It's, I live in like the region of Yoshi and even I don't know how it works. Like, But like when I back air it at ledge, like sometimes I'll just power through it. That's kind of what we saw there, um, only with the forward smash. Um, but yeah, no. That's that he's not even playing poorly here. Like he's playing well on stage and he's doing good at catching Suarez's landings. Um, the problem is just Suarez had um, such a big lead from that beginning. He like pretty much zero to death then. Um, but in terms of like neutral, he's actually keeping up pretty well. The problem is just, you know, that deficit. But it seems like Suarez right now, he's really turning up the heat. That's that though. He's fishing for the stock. You know, he could definitely do it. If he can get the stock with like a down smash or something, you know, and then get a KO punch at like 20. I mean, no kill, man. You know, like I said, Lil Mac, this character's got some cheese. He's got some stuff. And that, that, that's that's one of them. He's got some good smashes, nice armor, pretty decent range, good hitboxes. So now Suarez, honestly, like, if he hits Suarez like two more times, like, he'll be in KO punch range. Okay, there's the KO punch. Okay, is that gonna. Okay, that's not gonna kill, but. It almost did. That was a lot of percent. So if he can get some nice, you know, some nice play here on the stage. I like what he's doing here with the jumps, too. You know, he's kind of like, he's like using aerials. Like that's that's kind of different. You know, a lot of little Max don't do that. Kind of interesting here. But I like it. You know, Rastad, he's, like I said before, a lot of the stuff I said about is really transitions well over here. He's still moving really nice. He's not wasting much movement. Oh, there's the egg. Is he going to? Okay, that was a nice burst option. That's something I like to do, too. If you have a nice, fast up you can up -y out of uh, Yoshi's egg when he neutral bees you, it's a very good option for characters with big and fast up -bees. And, you know, like, uh, Ratstab was aware of that option. That's pretty good. That's a lot, something that a lot of people don't know about the matchup. You know, you can actually fight back um, against that egg. It's actually kind of weird, but... The only thing that's weird now is just the way this game is playing out. These two haven't touched each other, like, at all, straight up. Okay, there we go. Let's see if... Nice counter. That was another very good option out of the egg. Now, real... Oh, there's the kill. Okay, it's gone. I was going to say, if if he actually just killed him there and then, like, down tilted twice, he's at full rage. Like, KO Punch will probably kill it, like, 15. Like, straight up. Um, but no. Nah. Rest is playing very... Ooh, this is going to be really hard. Yeah, that's it. You know, and the funny thing, too, is I think Radstad actually played that pretty freaking well. He played very well on stage. Um, the problem was just, it felt like Suarez's lead. He got a lead very early. Sometimes Little Max one of those characters where, like, if you put him in those situations, obviously, I mean, just the way his character works, he's very limited. He, there's not much he can do. He just dies pretty much. And it seems like that's...